Dr. Joel Fort is a San Francisco public health specialist described as big on the marijuana scene. This means that Dr. Fort has ranged himself with those seeking to liberalize the law. Dr. Fort once was on the staff of the Federal Drug Hospital in Lexington, Kentucky. He also was a consultant on drug abuse to the World Health Organization. He's been a witness at trials on the constitutionality of the marijuana law. Why are you especially interested in marijuana, sir? <coughs> I've been interested in it for a number of years now, along with my interest in a variety of other drugs. I've worked closely with the problems of alcohol abuse, with amphetamine abuse, narcotics addiction, and I see them as having many relationships, uh, specifically in terms of marijuana, with the rapid increase in the use of the drug and the many different social and economic groups and age groups using it. Mm -hmm. I'm very concerned about the implications of the present policies for dealing with it which I think have been ineffective since drug usage has rapidly increased and which I think are dangerously harmful to the individuals involved and to society. When you say that you're working to liberalize the <coughs> marijuana laws, exactly what do you have in mind? <coughs> the kind of reform that I think is important is to see the drug user, the marijuana user specifically, from a public health and sociological standpoint not as a criminal, mm -hmm. and to concentrate the criminal law, or civil laws for that matter, on the manufacture, distribution, and sale of marijuana, and on antisocial behavior. I'm particularly concerned, for example, that real crime is increasing uh, markedly in this country, murder, rape, theft, and burglary. Because of the marijuana laws? No, uh, because of the way our society is devoting its resources to dealing with marijuana. What should I say, because of the marijuana laws <coughs> to begin with? Uh, I don't think one could say that. What I'm, uh, I haven't made myself clear. I'm, the police concentrate a great deal of effort. Our resources are being deployed to deal with marijuana use well, while I think they would be better I used to mean. deal with these other kinds mm -hmm. of problems. In other words, you, uh, you equate it almost with tying up big, strong policemen to do parking meter duty when they could be out fighting major exactly. crime. Exactly, exactly. Uh, why are people then, uh, lawmakers, uh, people who enforce the laws as well as make it, so strongly united against the use of marijuana? For example, I believe, well, as far as I know, there's only one major country where the use of marijuana is perfectly legal, and uh, that's Morocco, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> there is extensive use in Morocco, in Egypt, Egypt and, uh, and in India. Well, look India. what happened to Egypt. Huh? Yes, that's right. Do we need that? Go on. No, India stopped. Indi no, in you're correct in what you said. The, tre the, the treaties prohibit it, but in India they redefined the use as quasi-medical use, mm -hmm. and they still have millions of people using it. And, and you have just named three of the most backward nations in the world, Egypt, mm -hmm. India, and Morocco. I agree with you they're, that they're very backward, but I don't see a cause and effect relationship that it is not the marijuana usage that has led to their being backward, but rather their socioeconomic problems. The poverty, disease, and human misery, I think, leads people to use a wider variety of drugs than they otherwise would, Dr. alcohol Ford, and marijuana. If marijuana were, were legalized, would you yeah. use it? Would you have any need for it? No, I wouldn't. And, but I see it in the same way as alcohol, if I may say so. All right, now let's... Yeah. Uh, people who are always attempting to liberalize marijuana mm -hmm. are constantly equating it with alcohol.